Hi, what's going on, my people? Uh, welcome now to the Flat Cave. You have just entered music lessons down here in the Flat Cave with me, Mr. B Flat. We're gonna go over some stuff today. Uh, I hope that you take it with you, and I hope that you practice it. Um, if you're interested in this video and you want to take this up a little bit of a step further, man, I want you to hit me up. All right, but let's not waste time. Let's get right into it. So. One thing I always encourage everybody to do is to please practice your scales. Please practice them. Please, 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 please. You heard me mess up. That means I gotta practice them too. I want y'all to practice your scales. Um, today, the concept that we're gonna be doing, um, it's gonna be basically playing major sevenths, uh, major ninths, what have you, but playing them in different patterns. So one thing I like to do if I'm doing talk music, and if anybody's wondering what talk music is, it's basically just music being played um, just quietly in the background while somebody's talking and stuff like that. But one thing I like to do is different types of patterns like that. Um, and so what I mean by that, what I'm saying is, so let's just say we wanna, um, let's just say we wanna take a pattern, uh, like, let's say we'll do like a diminished chord. Let's say we'll do like a diminished chord, all right? Let's do a C whole diminished. So that's going to be C, E flat, G flat, and A. Okay, those are the notes in a C whole diminished. Right? So now, for every note that I'm playing, I'm going to turn that note into a major seven. So if our diminished pattern is, or our diminished chord is C, E flat, G flat, A. My first note is C. I'm going to make that C a major seven. C, E, G, B. Right? It's C in my bass. Right? So that's a C. So now another note inside of, uh, the next note in the diminished pattern will be E flat. So I'm going to make my E flat a major seven. Next is F sharp. So we're gonna make our F sharp a major seven. Next is A. So we're gonna make our A a major seven. That's basically it. So if you wanna just do that in a pattern, so if you're just doing something. That's, that's really it. Um, so you can take that concept and you can take that idea and try playing around with different patterns. So let's say we were just doing like a major seven, right? Let's take C, C major seven. So for every note in the C major seven, we're gonna make that note a major seven. So since we're starting with C, it's gonna be a C major seven, right? Then we go to E, because E is the next note in the C major seven. So we go to E and make the E a major seven. Next G. Next B. And that just sounds pretty cool. Now if you want to keep taking it up, say you want to make it maybe a uh, major nine. Right? So that's C, E, G, B, D. Same thing. C major seven. E major seven. G major seven, B major seven, to a D major seven. Ah. And it just keeps going in that pattern. And then you can keep going, you know, keep going as thus. You know, and just keep building. So that's a little advice that's a, uh, that's something different that you can do. You can take it, you can practice it. Practice it in different patterns, a major seven pattern and a diminished pattern. Um, whatever you think to do, whatever chord you think you can do, uh, or whatever chord you do, break that chord down then into different major sevenths. Um, I hope that made sense. Uh, give it a try. Practice, 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 practice. If you want a further breakdown of this or uh, anything like that, you can contact us. You can put your um, email address. Uh, you got my phone number on there. You can give me a call up. Let's set up an appointment. Man, let's book a lesson. Let's make something happen, all right? Uh, thank you for your time. I'm going to catch up with y'all soon, all right? Peace.